Hey guys, welcome back to Connor's channel today. Um, today we're gonna be talking about the, my personal garden tractor, my uh, 105 Cup Cadet International. Uh, for you uh, Cup Cadet enthusiasts out there, um, there is uh, a little bit of a problem going with it. The head gasket's blown out of it. Uh, there's some oil down the side of it. Uh, I'm gonna get it fixed for the summer. Uh, I might, there's but plans I might do with it. Uh, I might buy another tractor. I don't know if I am or not, but uh, I'm not gonna sell it because it's a restoration project and I wanna get it up and running uh, back, to, back to normal again, how it was when I bought it. Uh, when I bought it, it definitely had some problems. The deck wasn't working and I thought, eh, well, it's all right, I'll just find the parts for it. But um, I'll give you a tour of kind of the uh, vintage garden tractors. Uh, the, they, uh, I'll give you some advice basically about these garden older garden tractors and I'll look out for some, for, um, some specific details um, when you're buying a new or new to me uh, lawn and garden tractor. Um, well the new ones uh, you got to be careful you got to look underneath uh, like transmission it could be plastic uh, you got to be careful for that. That's the number one thing that it just drives me crazy. Is I had a customer come in and say, "Well, the transmission is making some noises and it's leaking." I, I and they didn't know it's leaking, so I found out it was leaking. And I said, "Well, it's a seal. This uh, oil seal went bad." And I said, "Well, I have to replace it. It's about I don't know, yeah, 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 six, seven bucks. I don't know. That's what it was on uh, Amazon. So I went ahead and bought the seal." And it's not leaking anymore. So that's a common thing with those plastic transmissions. Those seals blow out and you lose your oil. Boom, your transmission's done. And that's going to cost you. You can dump on a lot of money into that little plastic transmission that you can't, um, can't, you can't replace parts with it. So it's going to cost more to fix. And you, if you do try to replace parts, you're going to be minimal to find. You can't even find a lot of parts for those transmissions. So you got to buy a whole new transmission which sucks because you got to spend more money than the tractor's worth. So in that, in that case, don't buy a tractor that's a plastic transmission. Just take a knee underneath, take a knee behind the tractor and take a look if it has a plastic, plastic transmission or a metal transmission. If it's a metal transmission, I'd be a little bit more interested, but I would look at the reviews of that tractor and I would look at the engine. Um, I would definitely, if you're going to buy a tractor, go over the reviews and go over, like, the, the, go go over everything uh, about it. Ask people. If they have that tractor, ask them. See how it's been holding up after the years. Um, that's for new tractors. That's my advice. You go out, you take a look at it, and you say, well, it's a new tractor. And if, I, I recommend the John Deere's. I've always had John Deere's. I haven't had Husqvarna. Uh, Craftsman, Toro. I do have Toro push mowers though. Toro is a good push mower. I do like Toro. Um, Murray. I don't. I'm not a big familiar with those. Uh, but I definitely stay away from. At least Husqvarna has um, good reviews on their tractor. But I worked on a tractor that is a Husqvarna that does have a plastic transmission. So I'd be aware. Husqvarna and John near the top. I think John Deere is a little bit more better built than the Husqvarna because it has a plastic transmission. Husqvarna has a plastic transmission. John Deere has a metal transmission. So that's a benefit of the John Deere. Um, other than that, that tractor is like four or five years old and it's already having problems with the transmission. That should not be happening with that tractor at all. It is not that old to be failing like that. I have a tractor, I have a Cup Cadet 105 down there, International. And it's 56 years old, doesn't have a problem with transmission, and it has a little bit of engine trouble because I got to replace the head gasket on it, and it's I got to do some work to it. Might need an engine rebuild with it sooner or later. I don't know. So um, those are the things I would keep keep a lookout for when you're buying a new tractor. Now um, we're gonna move on to the next part. So new to me garden tractors. Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, anything like that. Different websites for like buying different buying used tractors. 
be careful. Be careful uh, what um, the seller is gonna sell you. And I experienced this. I bought the cupcake at 105. You probably, you don't, oh well, okay. Um, but you bought the 105, well, I, I'm running into some problems with it that I'd never uh, seen before on a tractor. So, well, I've seen some, but there's more of an extent to it when you buy a vintage garden tractor. You're gonna have to replace more parts and they're actually pretty expensive to fix up and get running, but it lasts longer. So I think it's worth more to invest than that and buy a new tractor that breaks like, I don't know, 10, 15 years. So, um, yeah. Um, the next and final thing that I would include is uh, new to be vintage garden tractors. Replace, go over it, make sure it's not leaking. Hydro, the transmission's not leaking. If you're looking at the older John Deere's, like the 318, the Owens engine, not a really great engine, has problems sometimes with it. But same with any used vintage garden tractor, there's gonna be some problems with it. There always is gonna be some problems with it. Like me, when I bought my tractor, the guy said, oh, the battery is a year old. And I look at it and I say, no, that's from 2016. So you're lying straight in my face and say, oh, well, the battery's not even that old. Well, it's a 2016 battery, so that's an old, that's, that's like a six, seven year old battery. That's not new. That's like seven years old. It's not even a couple of years old. And I got to, oh, well, uh, replace, the, replace the battery because it's about to. Um, so that's another red flag I would see because I'm teaching you guys from my experience because I bought this garden tractor for $750, but I got it to $725. But this garden tractor, it's been really good except until, I don't know, this month. I changed the oil in it because the oil was real black. And then I saw on the engine, the head gasket, and there's oil in the crack of the head gasket, and it's coming out, it's bubbling. I'm like, oh great, and then I got a head gasket, a blue head gasket, which I did, and it's running a little rough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, replace the points on it, replace the condenser, and then after I do that, I'm gonna replace, um, the head gasket and replace all that. And I'm gonna get my buddy because I don't have all the tools to do the job. The head gasket, I don't have a torque, torque wrench. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then after that, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get it, see if it runs better uh, than it did before. And uh, I'm gonna have a mechanic come out and I'm gonna take, have him take a look at it, even though that I'm like, I'm not a mechanic. I'll tell you that, I'm not, I'm not a cert certified mechanic at all. I just, Go based on my own knowledge that I've been using for a while because, listen, I've been around these tractors for half of my life. Uh, I've been working on tractors. I've been mowing since I was six years old um, when my sister was born, so almost 10 years. So she was born in 2014 of the 25th of uh, March. So... Yeah, it's been almost 10 years for me that I've been doing this and cutting grass and doing this stuff and being on mowers. And pff, I've been listening to mowers for a long time because it's almost been a decade. 10 years. 10 years. So it's been a minute for me. Uh, but I do go out to the certified mechanic and say, look, I mean, I got a problem here. Uh, I don't know what this is. And I go out to the Kohler, Kohler fans, all you out there, reach out to me. I'll send you some pictures of what's going on. Um, and I'll send you a video. I'll start the engine up and I'll, I'll just uh, explain or just let you watch what's going on with it and just give me your advice. But I'm also going to go to a certified mechanic that I know, personal, it's an adult, <laughs> obviously. Um, but it, that entails um, is when... I would recommend if you have any problems with your tractor, um, definitely talk to somebody like a mechanic, your dealer, or someone that knows about engines. I would just go in your engine and start tearing things apart. It's a bad idea. That is a bad, 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 bad idea to go. So if you can do it yourself, watch videos. I will um, 
eight, and I will tell you one video that has helped me the most, or one channel, Tarot Fixes All. I highly recommend him. If you're gonna watch lawnmower videos, leaf blowers, stuff like that, he does, etc. He does all that stuff, snow blowers, and sometimes those old Kohler engines, the K-Series and the new ones. Um, I highly recommend to watch his videos and see what kind of problem you got with your mower. Because if you can do it yourself, you'll save a lot of money. Or if you know somebody that's really good at working on stuff, ask them and have them come out and check it out. Because I, I, do, <laughs> I do recommend that. So um, to kind of wrap up the video here, uh, well, what I'm going to do is uh, um, say uh, thank you to all my subscribers out there that are going to be watching this video here very shortly. Um, I am uh, working on my editing skills, so uh, I apologize for um, my editing because I haven't done editing. I've been learning how to edit uh, just in my own free time, and it's really, uh, you know, kind of been enjoying it. I do like making videos like this because uh, because I just like doing it. I really like making videos, and actually, it, it it gives me some sort of if I got something wrong with my equipment, and I can just reach out to the online, and uh, you know, there might be some answers there. Or um, yeah, I mean that uh, that really helps me out if uh, uh, all that falls into place there. So. Anyhow, uh, just let me know. Uh, just let me down in the, in the comments and below um, uh, about the, the Cup Cadet. Uh, I'll be sending some videos out soon about the Cup Cadet and tagging them on with this video right here um, up in the corner there. And um, it's going to be a little bit of a road to get this tractor running again how it should be. And uh, it certainly is uh, going to be a project, but I'm willing to do it. And I'm going to restore this tractor and, uh, you know, put, put some money into it. And then we'll see where it goes from there. All right, guys, stay tuned. Stay, stay tuned for the upcoming videos.